Give it up right now, Aaron Davis, everybody, let her hear it. Oh, keep it going, keep it going, I see it coming out. Give it up for Aaron Davis! Hey y'all, sorry. I didn't see that. Hey, how's it going? How y'all doing? Yeehaw! So, um, I'm Aaron. Uh, I'm actually a professional wing woman. It's what I do for a living. I get paid to go to bars and comedy shows, <laughs> set up people, okay? So, yeah, yeah, I love my job, but not everybody does. I get hate mail. And uh, yesterday I got this email, okay? And it, it was harsh. It's like, hey, Aaron, I think you're a filthy slut. I bet you sleep with all your clients. Don't you always dress like a hoe? You need to get a real job or move back home. So I didn't, like, what do you write back to this guy, right? So I'm like, dear dad. <laughs> I'm so sorry, man. I'm just trying to make an honest living here. Anyways, yeah. Um, but people always ask me, as a wing woman, they're asking me for love advice, right? So this one client of mine was like, I had this really bad first date, and the guy told me he, like, killed a cat. Ugh, gross, right? And I was like, easy, just tell him to keep his hands off your pussy and you're good, okay? <laughs> and I mean, that was an easy one, but it gets harder, it gets harder. People are always um, asking me which app to go on. Are you guys on any apps? Yeah, those, you know, those phone apps, the swipey apps, yeah. So there's Grindr for the gays, right? And J Swipe for the Jews. And then we got Christian Mingle for the Republicans. <laughs> Am I right? You know? That one's tough though, because you can only swipe alt right. <laughs> yeah? But don't worry, Republicans. There's also one for those of y'all with herpes, Christian Tingle, you know? Um, and those are for the Republicans getting laid, not laid off these days. All right? Oh, yeah. Um, so, what else do people ask me? Oh, this, uh, this one client took her out once and she said, Aaron, you have got to get me pregnant by the end of the year, okay? And I said, chill, girl. Can we just enjoy this Christmas party? You know, I mean, uh, no, obviously. I was like, yeah, delayed reaction, I love it. Um, no, honestly, she was Jewish, right? Okay, it was a Hanukkah party. Um, oh, but then again, she may have met Jewish year, the end of the Jewish year, which is technically next month or something, right, with Russia show, whatever it is. That's next month, but, you know, she's due Labor Day, so I did my job, right? Um, actually, you guys should all come to the Bris, but I don't want to cut short your holiday plans. Yeah. Um, so the biggest question I actually get is from my female clients, and they always ask me, how do I get a guy's attention these days? It's tough, you know? Well, let me rephrase. The girls with no tits ask me, how do I get a guy's attention these days, Aaron? And I'm a, I'm a proud member of the A-team, if you can't tell, all right? So I've, I've got a real good story. I'll tell you what happened. When I was out one night, it was really late. It was loud, packed. People's armpits literally in my face. And I see this guy, like 10 feet away. And I want to get his attention. Yeah, you, all right. Yeah, there you go. And um, so what do I do? I grab the nearest pole, right? And I'm like, come on, dance. And I'm like, come on, come on. And then we make eye contact, right? It's like everything stops. And I'm like, crap, I'm at 14th Street already, the one? I gotta get off? Damn it! Oh, I know, but you know what? He got my number. And I said, so what was it that made you ask me for my phone number, man? And he said, it was like some voice of God calling out to me and said, if you see something, say something. <laughs> you know? So that worked out. I'm telling you, girls, try it. It works. It does get you attention. Um, another thing as a wing woman, people ask me for advice a lot. Um, they, they also say, you know, what, what's the secret to love? You know, you've given us a lot of pointers, but what's the secret? Like, how do you know when you found it? So there's this, this real cute couple that's uh, sitting up here and I, I just had to ask them. So you guys tell us what's the secret to your, to your love besides you guys are obviously low carb. They ate the meat out of their bun here. Okay, what's the secret? Oh, the secret. Um, you have to dislike the east side of Manhattan. 
dislike the east yeah. side. So west is the best. Let's yeah. go, right? Yeah. Okay, you guys know the commute. Yeah, let's go west side. <laughs> well, so I'm glad Gotham Comedy Club is here on West 23rd Street. This, this is a good date, date night for you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I also have another couple here. One of my favorite couples is here tonight. Guys, this is one of the hottest couples around. Y'all, tell, tell us, what's your secret? Separate beds. Separate beds? This is like I Love Lucy? Like what is that? Separate beds? Wow, you have an apartment big enough to put separate beds too. Unless it's the bunk bed deal then. Oh, you, you look young. You know, you got a young one. Okay, all right. Well, some people tell me it's chemistry, right? And I say, well, it's chemistry if you're Bill Cosby. But, uh, yeah. I like to think it's something else, you know? I, I think it's two things. Okay, when people ask me about my relationship, I say it's two things. One, complimentary traits, right? Because my boyfriend better compliment all my traits every friggin' day or we're done. Okay? Yeah. Second thing, every day I want to have mind-blowing orgasms. And sometimes with my boyfriend. Yeah. So that's it. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's a secret, right? Come on, am I right? So speaking of my boyfriend, I'm actually dating a guy. He's a stand-up comic, full-time. Woo, that's his full-time job. Irish guy. Um, yeah, and we're, things are getting serious, and so we've been talking about the next step. We both really want kids. And uh, I tell him the next step is, like, real job, but, you know. Um, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Uh, I'm doing well. Um, but, no, if we had kids, it would be really cool because our kids would be biracial. Cause like I'm white and he's ginger, right? <laughs> be real, that'd be hot. Um, no, but the real issue is the religion thing because I'm a Jew and he was obviously born without a soul. Um, so we're, we're struggling with that a little bit. But then we thought about it and there was like this risk. If we have a kid who's born orange without a soul, what job could he get when he grows up one day, right? Oh, thank you guys. That's my time. Thank you all. Have a good night. What's up, Mayor Davis, everybody?